In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how to extend backgrounds in Canva. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. Now this is a Canva Pro feature, so make sure you're on that plan. I'll start by creating a new design. I recommend making it big enough to hold your expanded image. I'll make this 3000 by 2000 pixels and I'll create the design. Now I'll upload my image file. So I'll click uploads. I'll select upload files and I'll choose my image here of this beach. So I'll click open and I'll click it again to put the image on my canvas. Now with my image selected, I'll click edit. And on the left under Magic Studio, I can scroll to the right and I have Magic Expand here. So I'll click this. From here, we can choose the new dimensions of our image. There are many presets. You can choose specific dimensions or you can have it fill the whole page if you like. I'll choose Freeform and that'll give me the ability to scale it over here. So I'll drag it out on either side. Let's make it a little taller. Let's expand it that much. Now I'll click Magic Expand down here. It'll do some processing. And that will give me four options to choose from. You can click through each one to preview it. If you don't like any of these options, you can try again. You can click Generate New Results. It'll reprocess. And we have four new results here. I'll select this bottom right one here. Even though it's not perfect, I'll show you some tricks for fixing it. So I'll click Done. And now I have my image here. So you notice that on the right side, there's some artifacts we don't quite want. Remember that we can continue editing this image. So I'll click the magic eraser over here. With the brush selected, I'll just brush out this area over here on the right. I'll click erase, and you can see it fixed it up a bit. There's still a little bit there, let me do it again. Erase again. You might have to try a couple times. Sometimes varying the brush size can help too. In this case, I got most of it, but there's still that little line that won't go away. I'll accept what the tool did here. I'll just back out of it. Then I'll go back to magic expand. I'll choose crop in this case. And I'll just bring the edge in a little bit. And I'll click done. And that will erase that line on the edge we got. Sometimes you may also notice color changes in the sky that are a little too sudden. So here I can see the gradient isn't quite clean enough. For this, you can use the blur tool to help smooth it out. So with my image selected, I'll click edit again. Down here, there's the blur tool. I'll click that. And I'll just blur out the sky a little more. I'll make my brush a little bit bigger. You can change the intensity. And sometimes this can help smooth the transitions there. Now this won't work for highly detailed parts, but for things like skies, it can improve it a little bit. So here you can see our final result, before and after. If you want to see more Canva tricks, check out the Canva playlist on my channel. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.